you have a standard solution of 0.524 molar sodium hydroxide, and you're like, I want to determine the concentration of this triprotic acid. It's supposed to be an R there. So you use 46.33 milliliters of the base, and you neutralize 10 milliliters of the acid. So now you're like, okay, now I can find the molar concentration of my acid. And when you see the word neutralize, know that that means moles of my protons is equal to the moles of my hydroxide ions. So if I use the equation where moles is equal to molarity times volume, I can rewrite this as molarity of my protons. So this is my protons is equal to the molarity times the volume of my hydroxide ions. Now you have a triprotic acid here. That means when you have one mole of a triprotic acid, you get three moles of protons. So if this represents my protons, if I multiply this number by three, just like it is over here, that will now represent the one mole of my triprotic acid. And then for here, we have sodium hydroxide and only on one mole of sodium hydroxide produces one mole of hydroxide ions. So you only have to multiply this by one. So if I rewrite this, I have three times the molarity of my protons times the liters is equal to the molarity of my hydroxide ions times the volume, right? And now this is appropriately representative of how my triprotic acid behaves in this solution. So if I start plugging in my numbers, I have three times the molarity, which I do not know what it is, times the volume, which is 0 0.01 liters, which is the same thing as 10 milliliters, is equal to my molarity, which is 0 0.524 times my volume, which is 0 0.04633 liters. So all I have to do is just separate M by itself. And if I do, I get my molarity is equal to 0.809. And this would be basically moles per liter.